in this specific instance, what Asmongold is saying here is not wrong. But it is also wrong. You see, because in the instance of this cinematic, Anduin's emotions are understandable. It's fully understandable. You can run through what has happened to Anduin, and you can fully understand why Anduin is emotional and why Anduin is going through what he's going through. The problem with this cinematic is it does not exist within a vacuum. Right? That, that's, that's this cinematic's biggest problem. Anduin has spent the last six years of World of Warcraft basically pissing about everything. Like, every single cinematic you see of Anduin is him crying about something new. Right? He's so tired about this, and he wants this, and he wants that. So, yes, the community is sort of at a place where they're just going, Oh my, can this guy just for once stop crying about stuff? But the problem is that in this cinematic, when viewed from within a vacuum, it is fully understandable why Anduin feels the way that he feels. And in, in my opinion, this is one of the few cinematics where Anduin's emotions actually make sense. In a lot of the previous expansions and the cinematics from the previous expansions, Anduin's emotions didn't make sense. You know, uh, like, uh, to give you guys an example, where Anduin's last moment of weakness should have been. So, in this moment, you have Anduin the boy, and this was his moment to become a man, right? Go from a boy to become a man. He, he's been f***ed around and, sh uh, and shoved around and things are weird. He looks into the sword, he gets the strength from his father. There's a little bit of emotion here. But then he, he reaches out to the light and he realizes, I am a f***ing priest. Why do I have to, why do I have to be sorry for it? This was the moment that Anduin was supposed to grow up. The problem is that the very next cinematic, Anduin is again pissing about stuff. And like, oh my fuck, bro. You just found yourself on the battlefield and now you're pissing again about stuff, right? So it's just like, literally, Anduin has zero character progression. Because every single cinematic starts with Anduin crying about something new. And then the problem is, the one time, and you know that Chris Mason was aware of this. Like, you know Chris Mason was aware of this. Because before this cinematic started, Chris Mason still said, every great story, or sometimes a great story, starts with a lot of emotion. Right, so Chris Mason was well aware of the fact that they are presenting uh, basically Anduin crying 2.0 or maybe 5.0 at this point because it's been a few crying Anduin emotion scenes. But the reason for it is, how else do you really tell Anduin's story? It's what he's been through. It's what's been happening to him. What else can you do? From here, he needs to grow up now and he needs to become a man. But this cinematic, the only thing this cinematic suffers from, and I love this cinematic, by the way, uh, because I, I decided to view this cinematic in a vacuum. I'm, I'm sort of, in my own mind, guys, I have decided that, that Shadowlands, BFA, and uh, it doesn't exist. I've just decided those expansions don't exist. Fuck them. In my mind, this is the first expansion for World of Warcraft ever, and I'm so excited to play WoW for the first time ever. That's it, right? Because I feel like Anduin in this cinematic. I told you guys from the start, the, true, the truth of this cinematic, and this is what someone like Asmongold doesn't understand, Anduin here doesn't represent Anduin. And I think this is what everyone misunderstands here. Anduin represents the player. This, what you see here, Anduin starting to want to cry and feeling super emotional about stuff. Anduin is the player thinking back on the last five years of World of Warcraft. When Anduin says in this cinematic, I will not come back, Anduin is speaking for the player. We, the player, are saying we're not coming back. We, we don't want anything to do with this ever again. We're done. And then Mason, being Thrall, puts his hand on our shoulder 
and he he says, "I'm here. I trust you." And we, the player, then realize we trust you too, right? That is actually what this expansion is about, or this cinematic is about. It's not actually about Anduin. This is like the player is actually the one that, that's crying, and the player is the one that that needs to come back. And mates in his thrall, and mates in is telling us, "I'm back. I'm gonna I'm gonna fix things for you." So if you start looking at the cinematic the cinematic that way. You realize that it had to be this way. Anduin had to be crying here because I felt like Anduin. You know, I wanted to cry with all of the shit. So yeah, Asmongold is correct on a very serious note. This cinematic suffers from the history of Anduin in the last five years. But on its own, this cinematic fundamentally makes sense. But from here... Can Anduin please stop being a pussy ass bitch? Like, for the love of fuck. Can Anduin just man the fuck up, realize he has balls in a dick, and just be a normal person? Because this is nuts. We can't keep going through this. Anduin needs to have some kind of character progression where he stops pissing himself about everything that goes wrong. I need Anduin to now actually get angry. I need Anduin to actually start, like, taking responsibility and not crying the whole fucking time. He's no longer a child. He's a man. But yeah, I do like this. Uh, I do like his tweet. Even though I think, uh, I think it does make sense. It just suffers from the history. But if you, if you look at it from my point of view, what history? This is the first cinematic I've ever seen of Anduin. Like, I, I, I remember seeing Anduin cinematic when he did this, right? When, when he became a man. And now I see this cinematic from Anduin. And I'm like, oh yeah, good. This is, this is really good. I, I fully understand what's going on here.